I'm all alone on a car on the yellow train waiting at the end of the line high in the Pyrenees Mountains uh, a place called Pont Romo Odello and people are just starting to get on the train now which means I think we're about to go back to my original destination First Mont Louis, and then all the way down to uh, see where, all the way down to Villafranche. Okay, so people are getting on. I'm going to turn her off now. Okay, so they decided not to get onto my car, so they're on another car. So, and then the train started up for a bit, and then it stopped. So there's my jacket. It got soaked in the rain, it's hanging, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. All right, the train has started up again. Still fog and snow outside. <laughs> They've just taken my ticket, so any doubts that I had have been resolved happily. So we should be on the way any moment now. False alarm just me alone in my car again listening to the sound of the wind and the rain outside oh there's the whistle and there we go I'm not sure exactly how high up we are but uh, certainly more than 1600 meters it's uh, 1500 at Mont Louis, which is uh, a stop or two down the road from here. This is a brilliant train line. I won't be able to capture the best of it, but uh, it's certainly worth seeing. Here we are still high in the Pyrenees. Uh, the actual mountains are on the other side of the train, but I'm not showing it because there's nothing but fog. Not much more than fog here either. Here are the majestic Pyrenee Mountains. Okay, we're beginning to come underneath the cloud line there. You can sort of see it. We've just come under the clouds. And those are the Pyrenees going up on the other side. So you can imagine really nice mountains there. There's a view without the raindrops. It's just lovely, isn't it? Check that out. We'll just get a closer look at that snow plow. <laughs> so this is Mollowy Station, right? Um, and Mollowy itself, which is a fortified town and citadel, is actually about a 20 minute walk up the road and it's also about a hundred meter climb. We're at about 1500 meters here and the top of the citadel is at 1600 meters. It's not as bad as it sounds. I did it this morning on the way up. Okay, now we're on the way out of Mont Louis. Get past a little construction here and we'll get to the really interesting stuff. I wanted to hike through here this morning but the uh, rain and snow and wind and the steep terrain made it just a bit too dicey. Now we're crossing the valley of the Tet River. I think it's the Tet River.
So that would be an interesting place to live. Speaking of interesting places to live, how about at the bottom of this valley? There is the ruin of a, an old house down here, or a mansion, or hotel, or whatever. I'm going to try to find it, and I'll capture it if I can. The bridge over the River Tet. Okay, that was St. Thomas, and here we go again. Check out the bridge we're going over. Over the road. Now we're on that 
great big bridge. This is a spectacular bridge and I wish you could see it. of it. I think looking backwards behind us maybe <laughs> just a house in the bottom of the river valley pretty cool That's a sheer rock wall behind all of those houses. It gives you a, a sense of what's happening here in this valley. I mean, it just goes straight up and down. up there the cause we were in before that van has been parked there all day <laughs> so we see up ahead the clouds that were about to go in behind these trees if we can see them into a station there's some people waiting here to get on the train so that might be the end of the audio component of this or the you know the voice component of this video we'll see where they get on well they all got on the car ahead of me so here we go again just wanted to capture these clouds that are moving in this station Almost at our destination. <laughs> Into the clouds we go. <laughs> much as I can while I still have light and on fog. It's looking back up the way we came. And down, you can see the, looks like the base of the clouds there, so that's nice. It's a thin layer of clouds. Looks like we're going to be below it. Into uh, our final destination. Just can't seem to keep my hand out of the screen there, right? Eh? And as you can see, I'm behind the window here for the safety of my camera. Another one of those spectacular bridges. over it.
coming into town. Getting pretty dark out. Le Bain. I think it's the last stop before um, the end of the line. Now, I'm not sure how much more video I'm going to be able to show you. As you can see, it's uh, getting a bit dark out there. So, you know, we, we got on the thing at, uh, well, I mean, we, we got off at, we went through Mont Louis. At 3.17, that's the only time I actually know. And so it's going to be 4.17, almost 5 o'clock by the time we get in. And that's pretty dark. And we got, as we know, two layers of clouds above us. And we've, we've gone through both of them. Just running right along the river here. I'm holding the phone right up against the window to block out all the light. That means I don't get whole lot of choice in what I can shoot. I have no idea what these towers are. I saw them on the way up and I tried to photograph them and had no luck. But there they are. I think they're pretty cool personally. Coming into town. Your classic French village on the side of the Pyrenee Hill. <laughs> Just pulling in now. And again, I've got the uh, phone right up against the uh, window, so I can't really control much here. Much less focus. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So there's our town, old medieval town, and uh, there's a citadel up there. It's a lovely spot. I think it's, this one is a lot nicer than uh, Mulaoui, personally. Still pretty dark. <laughs> and all of these tracks branching off can mean only one thing. You've got it. We're arriving at the station. That's some old yellow train stuff. <laughs> and there it is down there. I'll see if I can't get it into the screen without too much light and glare. And that's her. So here we are, back at the station. They've turned off the lights. <laughs> and they've turned on the lights again. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this trip on the yellow train and arrow gauge railway running uh, hi in the French Pyrenees. I'm Stephen Downs and I really enjoyed bringing this to you. Talk to you again. Let's take a look at those mountains up there shrouded in cloud.